If it hasn't dawned on anybody yet, I think it's about time it, it, it dawns on everybody that these are unusual times for Pakistan. Because right now, I think Islamabad seems disconnected a lot. And it's not only right now, but it has been throughout our history. Islamabad is disconnected with the real Pakistan. There's a whole spectrum of national conversation that is dominated by old people, which makes Pakistan's national conversation stuck in the past. We have ignored human development, education, basic health care, clean drinking water, you know, science and technology, population planning, flood protection. These are the key ingredients that actually are important for the economy to grow. A lot of what we do is superficial. Right now, the percentage of women employed in the corporate sector overall, uh, if you exclude teaching and nursing, is under 12%. That is abysmal. Who is representing those voices? Surely it's not 70-year-old retirees. Surely it's not middle-aged men like myself. Surely they have a very different perspective. If you will not let them be part of the journey of growth that we have this for the country, the country will not grow. What is missing in much of the conversation is how are we making sense of where we are? Where is the roadmap to leading us out of this sort of um, issues that have been created and how do we get to a point of stability when we can consider this to be business as usual again? Having a problem is a very important thing. That's, that's a problem to be solved. The current environment here in Pakistan is challenging. Let's understand that, that everybody acknowledges that. And there's a group of people working on trying to put the fire out that's in the kitchen. But there's also people continuing to look ahead and to find the right solutions. There are three types of you know, people, companies or countries. The ones who doesn't get it, they will disappear. The ones who get it, they will talk a lot than the ones who get it done. That's the piece that we have to be in. We need to get it done. Dream without actions, is, it's, it's, it's pointless. So the, the dream the, should be there, we should dream big, but it should be backed up by a plan. There are no shortcuts in life for anyone who has reached anywhere in life. The most important part is integrity and honesty. Or if uh, there is high reward for being loud and being aggressive and being counterfactual and assertive about rejecting something. Again, high likes and high retweets and high engagement does not actually mean change. The most important uh, talent and competence that we have to nurture in our societies is critical thinking. We need to be getting out of whatever zones everybody is in and really taking charge and doing what needs to be done which is in our control. That's why we need to be courageous even in these time of crisis. So that's the main reason to have an open mind and courageous heart and think out of the box for solutions because the conventional method of thinking is irrelevant these days.